Today is Ascension Day. So Ascension Day is when Jesus is taken up into heaven, when he goes up in front of the disciples' very eyes, he's taken into heaven and these two angels appear afterwards and say to the disciples, why are you standing there staring into the sky? Jesus has gone, but he will come back. And it's really quite a strange scene to try and wrap your head around. Um, there's quite a lot of paintings and imagery and pieces of art around ascension and some of them are quite funny like you get these pictures or these sculptures of just a pair of feet disappearing into the ceiling. Ascension day is also the culmination of this pretty strange period um, specified as 40 days so ascension is 40 days after Easter but that whole time is quite odd because Jesus is there he's appearing to people he's spending time with the disciples, but it's the resurrected Jesus. So there are things about him that are quite strange, you know, the resurrected Jesus can appear in rooms and seemingly just go through doors and walls. And so his presence is not what it was. It's not the same as before. And in some ways it's hard to kind of understand what that might have been like for the disciples. What were they experiencing? How was Jesus present with them? The resurrected Jesus doesn't seem bound by space or time, and most of that 40-day period is not accounted for in the Gospels or in other books of the Bible, so we don't know if throughout that whole 40-day period people were constantly experiencing the resurrected Jesus being with them, or if there were periods where he seemed to be absent. It's all kind of fluid and, um, yeah, a lot of it's left unsaid. So Ascension kind of brings this curious period of time to a close. In a way, it's like the ending of a chapter. Lots of loose ends are tied up and Jesus tells the disciples, you now know everything, you've heard my message and you really should understand by now. Now, I'm leaving, but you will have the spirit. So it's kind of this handover point where the whole of Jesus' ministry, his mission of bringing the kingdom of God on earth, is fully taken into the hands of the disciples at this point of ascension. And I think it must have been a sort of moment of realisation for the disciples. I think Jesus being in heaven and the disciples being on earth and realizing that it wasn't the end, that they were actually at the beginning of a whole story. It was the beginning of them taking this message, taking the gospel, and for them to carry it on and to share it, to take it out into the world. So it's sort of a culmination, but not a hard conclusion. And the disciples have been through a lot. Like the whole few days leading up to Good Friday with Jesus' arrest and death and resurrection and Easter, all the emotional roller coaster that the disciples have experienced, and then this whole nebulous after period of 40 days before we get to ascension. It feels very much like a period of growth and learning and where they finally kind of realise what it's actually all about and what the point is and actually what has just happened? You can almost hear the cogs whirring as the disciples put the jigsaw pieces together and think, ah, oh, <laughs> that's what Jesus was on about all that time. This is what's happening. Okay. And ascension is often talked about in terms of being the start of a waiting period because, um, so ascension is 40 days after Easter, uh, but 10 days before Pentecost when the Holy Spirit comes. Um, and so Ascension is sort of the beginning of this space in time where we wait with bated breath for the gift of the Spirit. And of course, for the disciples, they didn't know when the Spirit was coming or what that would be like or look like. So they were, they were literally just waiting. Um, whereas for us, we have the Spirit already. And so we're, by observing these 10 days and looking ahead to Pentecost, we're entering into what the disciples were going through. But it is different for us today because we have the spirit already. We know what it is and we are already living with that gift. 
but rather than thinking about Ascension as just the start of another waiting period, I think it's really nice to think about it as a, a handover day. And if we take this idea of it being when their disciples finally fully grasped that the gospel message was theirs to take out into the world and to continue, that Jesus has handed it to them and they should hand it on. If we extrapolate that down to ourselves, we can see that it's just a clear line of descent. It's this thread of faith woven through the centuries from them to us. And so this gift of carrying on the story, this gift of it being in our hands to tell others, to spread the gospel and to make the kingdom of God come. That's what it is to be a Christian and that is our gift. That's what Ascension has given us. It's kind of like a relay race. Ascension was the day when <laughs> the baton was handed to us and we take it and we run with it and we continue to hand it down over the ages. But without that point, without the disciples arriving at this place where they knew that that's what was happening, then the church wouldn't have been able to grow. So ascension is really important, it's crucial, and it's also something that ties us all the way back to them. It really shows the development of faith and the church, and we all carry it on into the future. We continue to pass the baton on. We continue to give this gift and this responsibility into the hands of all the new people who are becoming Christians and joining the worldwide church. And that's also why I think the disciples aren't sad. It's so obviously when Jesus was killed, they were grief stricken and it was horrific. But at this point, when Jesus is taken from them again, they don't seem to be upset at all. In fact, it says that they are filled with joy. And I think that's because they realise now that it's not the end, that they don't have to have Jesus with them, physically present, that they've internalised instead the gospel message and that they know they carry that with them in their hearts. So the whole relationship, the whole dynamic between believers and God has shifted in this period of time. It's not a loss, it's not a sorrow, it's the start of something new, it's simply a change and change is not always a bad thing. So maybe the next time you see some art that's perhaps a little bit strange or even a bit funny, that you've got those feet just disappearing, maybe instead think of ascension as being a gift, the receiving of the gospel that we take and we carry out into the world.